Birdo! My name is Patchglis, and we are back playing another round of kindergarten. In this episode, I'm going to try to do the teacher storyline, which is killing all of my classmates. <laughs> So starting this day off, obviously we need the money so we can get robbed by, robbed by douchebag, Mr. Douchebag, who has the father issues. So that is what we're gonna do today. Hmm, I smell money. Uh, yeah, someone is definitely carrying more than three dollars around here. Hey kid, you carrying any cash? Why, yes, yes I am. I'm balling with the money. Why, you want some? Excellent, give me a hand for a split your empty skull with my damn foot. Fine, here is $2.53. <laughs> I'm carrying the weirdest amount of cash on me. 505. I, I kind of forget where I got that goddamn nickel, but oh boy, I just lost it. The good boy, now don't go telling the teacher about this or you might turn up missing like that Billy kid. Right, right. We're not gonna tell Miss Jiggly Tits, which is what the janitor calls her. All right, not my name that I'm giving her. I'm Miss Applegate. I have been well endowed uh -huh, with excellent teaching qualities. Uh, I don't care about your bosom. I just, I just want my money. Bug stole my money. He did! Interesting! I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. He also smells a little bit. I think it's his feet. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. Oh, uh, what if he hurts me? What if, what if he hurts my delicate hands? It'll build character. Is... Is that legal? Probably not. But if this is how I can start my underground kid fighting ring, then it's a risk I'm willing to take. What's in it for me, ma'am? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? Um, yeah, sure. Oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over and push him a little bit. Just like a little push. Not a big one. Just a little push. When he attacks back, just yell for me and I'll put a stop to it. All right, this sounds like a good plan. Sounds like a jolly good plan. You ready for this, Bugs? One of us is being expelled. It's not me. What do you want, Dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. My dad will come back. He just went to the store to get some cigarettes like six months ago, but I think he got a flat tire on the way back. It's just gonna take a little bit of time, okay? He'll, he'll come back. He'll come back. He's never coming back, Bugs. Give it up. Yes, you will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. I wanna be so bad, you know what I mean? I have faith. I got the Christ Almighty on my side. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you, Dad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call for the teacher, and then we're gonna, we're gonna send Bugs to the principal's office so he can get shot right in the face. Bugs! <laughs> How dare you attack another student unprovoked again? And that's the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back, but he is. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office. I'll have the janitor carry you there by your damn ankles. But, but. Go! <laughs> Stupid rat. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's your gold star as promised. Hmm. Now you've got me thinking, Jerome, he's, he's so high mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange a little trip for him to visit Dad? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. Let's let's do that. Oh, that's why I like the hair. Come see me during morning time, and I'll tell you what to do. See you then, sweetheart. Now, Cindy, Monty, and Lily are going to be the hard ones to get out of here because I don't know how to do them. My hints say I need to talk to Cindy now, and then get a voice recorder from Monty. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? Yeah, sure. Uh, that's why I like the hair. Well, do I mean the cutest couple in school? But first, you have to do something for me. Isn't our love enough, sweet cheeks? Ah, uh, that's cute, but no, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. 
Uh, how do I do that? You see that girl over there? That's the way she's by far the ugliest, nastiest girl you will ever meet. I want you to take this gum and stick it in her hair during morning time. Got it? Yeah. Oh, yay, this is gonna be so great. She's finally getting what she deserves, just like her brother did for dumping me. Come find me for morning time after you've done it. Okay. Planner updated. Put the gum in Cindy's hair or don't. I'm, I'm, well, I'm not going to. I'm Monty. I want to buy something, man. I want to buy... I, well, I want to buy the, the voice recorder, because that's what it told me to buy. It can help you out of trouble if someone ever accuses you of something you didn't do. It's 250 What do you say? Dale. Pleasure doing business with you. I don't need anything else. Okay, children, it's time to start today. Everyone head inside for morning time. Oh, crap, man. Okay, so we can't do this unless we have more money. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to restart the whole day. I'm going to fly through this thing, get $10, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I took the $8 to school, so I have plenty of money for the supplies now. So I'm going to grab them from Monty. Right meows. Right meow. I want to buy something. Is Wifts for sale. I'm going to get the voice recorder, because that's what they keep telling me I need. And then, I guess I don't need anything else right now, because I still need to talk to Cindy Horface. I don't need anything else. Come here, baby cheeks. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? Ah, oh, of course we do, baby. Ah, uh, that's what I like to hear. We'll totally be the cutest couple in school, but first, you have to do something for me. Isn't our love enough? Ah, that's cute. But no, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. Um, I'm not proving anything to you, sweet cheeks. What the hell? What the hell just happened? All right, let's go with a different option. Uh, why? Why? How about because I'm the prettiest? Uh, does that do it for you? Uh, not, no, not really. Uh, have you seen Lily? Have, have we seen Lily? Lily is a gem. Lily's all those things. Not you, your whore face. Excuse me. I know you did not just say that to me, because if you did, I'd have to take you out. How? Uh, yeah, I'd like to see you try, whore face. Fine, you asked for it. What are you going to do, right? Oh, that's a little extreme. Does she even know what rape is? Oh, good God. Oh, dearie me. What on earth is going on over here? I heard someone cry rape. <laughs> yes, Miss Applegate, it was me. This boy tried to rape me. Sad. Cindy, we've been over this. Boys not wanting to be a boyfriend does not count as rape. But as per the school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. What? You're punishing me for almost being raped? Now you listen here, you little parasite. You are going to the principal's office. End of story. This is so unfair. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the principal. What a whore. Oh, bugs. Oh, God, bugs. Bugs is going to die. Oh, we have to watch it, too. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice but to... Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? He tried to rape me. Great. Well then, Bugs, looks like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire. Wait, do we do we not kill Bugs? I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Okay, you two, let's get this over with. So, you're accusing your little friend here of trying to rape you? Really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I can barely fight him off. I'm going to assume you were going to deny that you raped her. Is that correct? What, what's rape? <laughs> uh, it's when a man um does some stuff. You know what? Ask your parents. No, wait, don't do that. What am I thinking? Just say you didn't do it so I can move on with my life. Ah, uh, no, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, I want to keep asking what it is. That's what I thought. Well, since no witness incident and you don't have any proof, there's not much I can do ex except separate you two for a while. I've recorded the incident. You little tramp. You did. 
Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy. Cindy, do I have to listen to this? Or will you make it easy on yourself and just admit nothing happened? My buddy, he what? Okay, fine. When he started it, he said I was mean. Not good enough. I think I'm gonna enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm gonna keep this recorder in case there's any trouble when your awful mother calls. So I can't have it back? No. Now why don't you run back on to your class? I think you missed enough learning for today. Cindy's a whore! That's what we get out of this. Cindy's a whore. Oh, you're back! Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? None. I had proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone! All happy, happy day! I was so sick of hearing all of her nonsense. You would have earned a gold star! Well, a little ruse and give her bugs like I'd hoped. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Jerome? Ah, yes, the high mighty Jerome! The man himself! Oh, he's talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I think it's time we finally got even with him. How do we do that, Miss Jiggly Tits? The principal, don't call me that! Okay, don't call me Jiggly Tits! The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I bet Nugget's stupid little life that your robe took them. Why don't you just take it? I can do that. I can do that. I don't want to talk to you anymore, Jiggly Tits. Stop calling me Jiggly Tits! <laughs> Excellent! Just go over there and get him to give it to you. Will do, Jiggly Tits. I said stop it! <laughs> oh, I'm literally going out of my mind. What? You want to be my morning buddy? I ain't got time for that nonsense. So, unless you're buying or selling something, get lost. I want to buy something. Here's what's for sale. Heh, <laughs> yo-yos. Don't know what it is about these things, but Jerome loves them. You can have it for a dollar. What do you say? Deal. Let you do in business with you. Get out of my face, Monty. Punch you right in the right in the snow. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me. Uh, you mean this yo-yo? You mean this sweet old yo-yo that you want dangling from that finger? Ah, come on. You told me you was gonna save that for me. You can have it. If you'll be my morning buddy. You've got a deal. I'm just a prostitute. And since we're gonna be friends, I think you should do something to help me out. Hey, you know, as a friend. Like what? You know that creepy old gender? He stole my damn laser pointer this morning, said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need your help to get it back. Let's just skip all of this, because we know we're just going to rat him out. Who gives a damn about Jerome's plans? Give me just a minute. Jerome is distracting me. I got the pass from Jerome. I knew it. Jerome, you little cockroach, we've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. What, you ratted me out to the teacher? Dude. Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. Okay, let's make a deal, Jiggly Tits. Stop calling me Jiggly Tits. <laughs> you stop calling me a rat, I'll stop calling you Jiggly Tits. No, because that's what you are. Teach your special little rat, just like Jerome. You teach your special little suspended hooligan. Uh, come on, bro. I thought you were cool. Well, he's not. And because he's so uncool, he got one of my special gold stars. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Man, stupid rat. Getting me in trouble like this? Come on, bro. My dad's going to kill me. He's going to give me the big old spanking and then a gun. Oh, that was just perfect. You're a natural at this. Let's keep this kid removal train rolling. How? I have a special plan for Nugget, just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Feel free to get rid of any other kids in trouble while you're in there. You have to get creative, though. I'll try. Let's do this. Okay, while we're in here, we need to eliminate, like, everyone. God damn it. Nugget is pleased you have returned. Tell Nugget the nugget you consumed was very tasty. Yes, sure, I guess. You couldn't taste the poison? Wait, what? Nugget poison the nugget. I'm gonna die? Perhaps. That de depends on what you do next. Bugs just threw slop at you. Yes, he does that every day, but today Nugget has poison, and you are going to poison Bugs. Why would I do that? Because Nugget also has the antidote that will save your life. How do I poison him? Here's another nugget. It is quite similar to the one you just ate, only this one is far more potent. Just get Bugs to eat it. Let's do it. Better hurry. Nugget thinks you have until the bell rings before the poison does its work. I hate you, Nugget. Let's, let's, can, can you eat this? No way a worm like you is going to be sitting with me. 
I need, I need you to eat this. What? Why? What is it? It's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that. Why the heck would I want to eat something you gave me? Because otherwise you'll look like a sissy. Whoa, because you're poor and need the food? My guy has zero chill. Like, this game, and my god, goes from like zero to absolute douchebag 100 real quick. I'm gonna go with sissy though. Uh, I don't want to use the apple though. What? Who around here thinks I'm a sissy because I won't eat a stupid nugget? Cindy, Jerome, Monty. Ah, I, I have a feeling he thinks Lily's a little cutie like I do. Who? Is that the one mopey girl? I don't think she even has opinions anymore, much less the capacity to call me a sissy over a nugget. Oh, okay, so why don't, why would I eat this stupid nugget then? Because you are, I, I guess you want it. Oh crap, because you're poor and need the food. Okay, kid, if I'm so poor and you're so charitable, why don't you throw in a couple bucks as well? No way. Okay, so why would I eat the stupid nugget then? I guess you want it. Crap. Alright, if he doesn't like Lily as much as I do, Monty's a nerd, Jerome's a cool cat, maybe he likes Cindy. What? Cindy doesn't think I'm a sissy? Well, she wanted to eat this nugget. Yeah, give me the nugget, I'll show her much. You showed her, man. You showed her real good. You idiot, she's not even in the room. Oh, God, you're so dumb. I don't, I don't want anything from Monty yet. I don't know how to get Monty... That's bug. It's done. Wonderful. Nugget is quite pleased. Yeah. Oh, crap. Wonderful. Nugget is quite pleased. If what you say is true, Bug should die at any moment now. And there he goes. Here's the antidote as promised. Take antidote. Nugget hopes you feel better. Please come see Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. All right. So that's Bugs down. We need to get out to the hallway, but we need to... Oh, crap. How do we get rid of this dude? Uh, you spelled biscuit wrong. What? No, I didn't. How would you even know? You can't even read. Monty can. Ah, is that the dweeb with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, nerd! That's how we kill Monty. Um, what do you want? Got some Janet or stuff you want to sell me? No, but I got a coffin for you to buy. Whoa, oh, burn! Let this be a lesson to you about correcting people's spelling, you little turd! There, lessons were learned. Lines were drawn. Yeah, that's... This dude's just on the ground twitching. You're a good, good kid for letting me know that little monster's going around correcting spelling. And in a school of all places. <sighs> shameful the way kids turn out these days. Yeah, yeah, shameful. But you seem to be one of the good ones. Thanks. You just let the old Jenny know if anyone else has... Anything to say about his spelling. I don't think that will happen again. Oh, these glasses flew off the nerd's face when I hit them. You can have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. She needs glasses. She, oh crap, crap, no, 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 no. She needs glasses, right? I can give her Monty's glasses and then I'll go to the bathroom. Like what? Well, I seem to have misplaced my glasses. These old eyes can't read the menu without them. See if you can find a pair lying around and I'll let you out, you sweet thing. I found some glasses. Oh, love, thanks so much. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. I won't stop, you sweet thing. Thanks, girl. Gosh, she's so sexy. She's still so sexy. There's just something about her that I can't get off of my mind. This is the door to the principal's office. Knock on the door! What the? It's lunchtime. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble. What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. Lily was eavesdropping on you. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? I knocked to let you know. Lily, we've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. So get out of here! Why don't you step inside my office and we'll talk about this over again. I know it was you. One day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this young lady. Office now! Oh, poor Lily, man. Please excuse me for a moment. Oh, God! 
<laughs> I was not expecting to actually be able to hear the gunshot. Oh god. Okay, thank you for letting me know about her. I'm sure you heard the recess bell. Why don't you go out and play? Oh god, that sucks. Poor Lily. Well done! You got Lily, Monty, and Bugs! That's, that's unprecedented! You've earned three gold stars! What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend a little mole creature? Yes. Excellent! You see that hole he's standing by over there? He's been digging it for a few days now. I'm pretty sure he's on strength through the bottom of the box. Maybe in China. I don't actually have my degree. I know nothing. Yes, I would be impressed if it wasn't so dangerous. Unfortunately, I have no way to prove how dangerous it is. It is. <laughs> How dangerous it is. And the principal doesn't seem to care. What does this have to do with me gaining his trust? I know what it has to do. You're gonna throw me down that damn hole again. Let's just go in there. Welcome to the Nugget Cave. Behold, it's nuggety goodness. Please have a look around. Okay, let's just take this bad boy. Yeah, we know, we know. You didn't just take the dog. Just take the dog. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. Can we look at Billy yet? No, of course not. Let's just go back up. Well, what did you find? This dog corpse. Oh my dear me, is that? Is that? Is that Cindy's dog? Nugget! <laughs> Nugget's so screwed. What is it, large teacher lady? Did you kill Cindy's dog? What? No, Nugget would never, well not never, but Nugget is relatively harmless. Don't lie to me! Nugget is not lying. Nugget knows it was the janitor who killed the little puppy. I know it was you! Alright, he missed the Nuggets upon, you know, the fall. Oh my! That was unfortunate! Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm relatively pleased with the result. You've earned another gold star! Well, would you look at that? This playground is completely empty. You've gotten rid of all your classmates and collected six sweet gold stars. So what now? Now I go home early. Don't I get a reward? All right, you, your reward. Here you go. It's a special lunch pass. You can use it anytime you want to have lunch with me. It's my way of protecting my rats for selling out their friends. Thanks. Well, there's no one left to teach today, so I'm going to take off. What about me? Look it! I, I can earn a gold star, or you can start walking home. Choice is yours. <laughs> I'll walk home then. God, I'll see you tomorrow, Turtles. Start the walking. We did it. My throat is so coarse right now from all that talking as the Guardian teacher. My lord. Items unlocked. Lunch pass. Continue. Awesome. 275. And that does it for this one. God damn, sweet. Look at that. We're filling everything up. We're filling everything up. Pretty soon, that little lady will be ours. Lily will be our wife to be. But if you guys enjoyed this video, caress that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.